It all started with me feeling sad and withdrawn for no reason. Like there was this heavy dark cloud over my head that followed me everywhere. I tried to push it away saying it was just one of those bad days and it would soon pass. But it didn't. I started feeling like I was cursed for not being able to save my daughter from dying and my marriage from failing. This weird character called depression makes your heart to suffer silently with sadness and grief. It felt as though I was trapped in this dark room and there was no escaping. Putting on so many facial masks got me feeling like I deserved an award for acting like nothing's wrong when I was not alone. That was when it got worse and I felt like I was drowning, but everyone else on the outside was yelling at me to just breathe. I wished someone could just understand me. When I try to tell someone and they are like, yes, we all have depression sometimes, I get mad and I tell them it's not the same. But after a few times, I say yes. Never mind, I'm fine. But I got worse. As days went by, the pain became even more. It was then that I started to back away from family and friends. People thought I was 100% sad when actually I felt 20% guilt, 15% anxiety, 15% tiredness, 20% lost and 30% worthless. My life became meaningless with 0% motivation. Every single day was just the same. I spent all day lying on the couch with a heaviness in my head. I felt like a zombie, mindless and thoughtless. I wished I could just go back to when I was happy. There were times all I would do all day long was to cry. But I knew it was really bad when I would want to cry and my mind is just so numb and empty. Existing simply hurt. However, there were nights that I felt like I was better and I say I'll make things right again. But when it's morning, I seem to have lost all sense of motivation. Then I go back to feeling numb and pulling even further away from those who want to be near me. Feeling ashamed and guilty of everything I had done and everything I have not done. Dissociation and apathy became my tools to avoid answering questions as to why or what was going on with me. I did not long for indifference but it was necessary for my survival. Depression left me no peace and negative thoughts circled around my head non-stop. It sucked up all my strength and every day became a battle with myself. Little things became so hard to do. My life was paused. My happiness, my dreams, my beauty, my social life, my personal hygiene was all gone. The pain became too much to bear that I resorted to drug abuse and drinking. But it only eased the pain for a short while before it started all over again and this time even worse. It was like having a mind that wants to survive with a body that wants to die. I did not want to die but I did not want to leave that life either. I could not eat. I was afraid that I would die of starvation and I wished humans did not have to eat to stay alive. Why suicide seems crazy to others, considering how I felt it seemed very logical to me. Anyone would choose death over eternal torture.
I finally reached a point where I could no longer take it anymore and I had to choose between seeking help or committing suicide. And unfortunately, I chose the easier way out. So many years of education, yet nobody taught us how to take care of ourselves. Depression is real. Depression and the suffering that comes with it is evil. But an even greater evil is to submit to it. Therefore, let's not give up. Your skin is not paper, so don't cut it. Your neck is not a coat, so don't hang it. Your height is not a book, so don't judge it. Your heart is not a lock, so don't lock it. Your life is not a movie, so don't end it.